Well, there are just uh, under a thousand days to go before the 2014 Winter Paralympics in Sochi. One of Russia's best medal hopes is swimmer Elisa Vladikina, and she's been using her incredible life story to inspire others to overcome their disabilities. Robert Vidanian uh, has more. Beijing 2008, the Paralympic Games, where Russia's Alessia Vladikina struck gold and set a new world record in the women's 100-meter breaststroke. What was even more remarkable is that the 23-year-old did so just five months after she'd lost her left arm in a car accident while she was on holiday in Thailand and prior to that had contemplated quitting the sport. Her victory was a triumph of mental strength and she's always ready to share her thoughts with those who desperately need it. The swimmer is now an ambassador for the Sochi 2014 Olympics. And with 1,000 days to go to the Games, physically disabled people in one of Moscow's rehabilitation centers had the chance to see and hear firsthand what it takes to accept the challenge of overcoming injuries and winning. Sport is what brought me back to life and made it worth living. I managed to return to swimming and win the Paralympics. That's what inspired me and gave me strength. I discovered a new world, new people and new goals to achieve. Having got to know Alessia and the Angels of Hope band, which consists of hearing impaired youngsters, even those who once might have lost hope might gain it back. I believe it's my duty to share my experience and views with anyone who is interested, no matter if they have disabilities or not. For some of them, it could be really encouraging. I know it works, as I've seen it with my own eyes many times. It's very nice of Alessia. She is a great example for all of us. Some people would have given up. But once they saw her and knew her story, they didn't. She helps us change our lives. Well done, Alessia. Despite her achievements, Many would still call people like Alessia Vladikina disabled. But in many respects, they prove to be more able than a lot of us. Robert Vardanyan, RT, Moscow.